All right, let's look at how to set up a Subversion repository on Ubuntu Linux using Apache. So Subversion is a software version control system that allows you to do different versions of your software and do updates and a lot of back out of things and commit and all those things. So in order to do this, first you want to install, apt install, sub version. So I'm logged in as root. So I have root access. I'm going to install a subversion. I'm doing it over Apache. So I need to get Apache 2. And because Apache 2 provides this DAV interface for allowing you to upload and download files, I need to have the subversion module. So that's SVN. So lib Apache 2 dash mod dash SVN. So I'll install these three packages. And once they're installed, I need to make sure that I enable the DAV package in Apache. Otherwise, it will not run. So we just need to make sure that's turned on first. And then we can go ahead and start working with it. All right. So now it looks like we have pretty much everything almost installed. There we go. All right. So let's put the screen. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to do the A2N mod. So Apache 2 enable mod dav. And sorry there. That's good. And then dav underscore SVN. So my subversion version. All right. So it is there and it is in place. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to go in there and make sure that I have a directory that I'm going to use for my SVN. So I'm going to go to var SVN. So var, there is no SVN. So I'll just go ahead and make that directory. Make directory var SVN. So this is going to be my subversion location. And I'll go to that directory, var svn. Okay, empty directory. And now I'm going to create a project in this directory. So do svn admin create hello. So it's a hello world type thing. And this creates a directory with my project in it. You can see all this, all these files. That's good. All right. Now, in order to be able to read and write to this directory, I'm going to need to have permissions set up properly. The Apache user runs as www-data. And you can see that if you look at the Apache configuration, Apache 2, Apache 2 comp, and somewhere down here, you have a username. It says Apache run user is set in this um, ETC Apache 2 ENV vars. So if you look at that, so ETC Apache 2 ENV vars, ENV vars. Um, you can see somewhere in here, it has something about a user. So let's do a search and find the user. And actually it says right there and it's towards the middle, it's the Apache run user thing. So you can see I do data. You can see that there's the Apache run user, WW data, and the group WW data. All right. So now that we have that and we're all convinced, I'm going to do a ch own minus r for recursive www dash data colon www dash data. And I'm going to change it on the var svn directory. So I'm changing it so that entire directory is all owned by subversion and subdirectories as well. Okay. The next thing I want to do is make sure that I have my DAV configuration set up. So if we go into the uh, ETC Apache 2, 
there is a mods available directory and in it there is the dav svn so i will do a nano on the dav svn dot conf file all right so you can scroll on the bottom it has all kinds of information about how to set it up and we're going to go ahead and create a directory so the way you do it is you do location and this is going to be svn so that means that when you do uh, slash svn on the server it will immediately know that you're doing a svn dav directory all right inside of this i want to have a dav svn type right there i want to do svn parent path and that's var svn so that's the parent directory for all the subdirectories off name is let's call it a subversion repositories there you go all right then my authentication type and this will pop up when you are if you go to the web and you try logging in you get all this stuff right here but we aren't doing that we're going to be doing it for command line auth basic provider file right there and we're going to use the auth user file as far svn and then we'll do the ht password require require valid user all right what this will do is it will um tell it where the subversion directories are so they're var svn they're uh, using dav svn and uh, when you go to the web it's whatever the server is slash svn to get there and then you're going to have to go through authentication you're going to be authenticating with the subversion repositories author na authorization name and the authorization type is it's going to have some password stored in the ht password file and there you go all right so exit out and we want to make sure all of our changes are now loaded up into apache so we'll do system ctl restart apache 2 and make sure it's running so it looks like it's good and now we want to go ahead and um, it looks like it's enabled so we're good there now we want to create the password file so we can go down to the uh, var SVN directory you can see it's just the hello there but i'm going to create the password I'll clear the screen so we get the top again so right here i'm going to type in httpasswd minus c for create var svn dot httpasswd so that will create something and i'm going to do this for the user let's say alice all right so then it wants a new password so i'll do aloha one two three aloha one two three nice super oops i need to probably type it correctly at the same time all right so i've added the user and if i look at my directory you can see there is a ht password i can cut out the .at password file you can see that it is now owned by the wrong user so i probably want to change that so let's see own data .at password file all right at this point we should be pretty much good to go so i'm going to switch over to the client on the client machine we need to make sure that we have 
the subversion package installed. So we'll do apt install subversion. Get that one installed. And then we should be able to check out the package and or check out the project. So normally I like to create some directory in the root directory. So I mean, if you're logging as a different user, that would be better. Um, I am currently logged in as root, but you could do this as any user. So maybe I'll have my SVN root for all my different subversion things I'm getting. So SVN root. All right, and then I wanna check out the package. So I'll do SVN checkout. I'll do user name. So this is Alice. And then the directory. Now I was on server.example.com. So I'm going to do an HTTP colon slash slash server.example.com. Now at this point, you do have to make sure that you have um, your firewalls and all that, stuff like that, not in the way. So if you have set up a firewall, you need to make sure you have openings for whatever type you do. All right. So this right there should be what you need to check out the package. So you got the SVN, you got the package name or the uh, project name. And then I need to authenticate with this. And that was Aloha123. Store it. I like to store it. Um, and so it looks like it checked it out. Okay. Then I go into this hello directory and um, I can add a file. So maybe I will do something. Maybe nano hello.py. Maybe I'll just do a print hello world. Everybody needs a, a quick program mod 755 hello make sure it works all right so I've got this hello world now in this directory it's not added to the project yet so I do SPN add hello that adds it to the project and then I want to commit it commit it so SVN minus or actually commit minus M for a message and I can say added hello.py and then it will commit it and push it to the repository if I want to do updates I can do SVN update and that will download any copies so you can see it's all downloaded and I do SVN log to see what has been committed so far you can see that um, there was this log entry for added hello.py. Anyway, so this is how you set up a subversion repository on Ubuntu Linux using Apache and subversion.